In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the instring function in an access query in order to parse out pieces of a string uh, to, you, to get the effect that you need. And the example I have in mind is uh, this table where someone recently asked me to split out last name and first name from this particular name column. And this was something weird that they got from their legacy system, and they didn't know how to parse this out. And there's 28,000 of these, so it's not like you can bring it into Excel and do something with it. So I'm going to show you how I use the instring function along with some other functions in order to get this accomplished. Now the instring function returns nothing more than a number. It returns the position number of the character that you're looking for. So for example, I have a name here that's last name, comma, first name. And just to show you the, the uh, concept behind this, I'm just going to type in a comma place. I created a new column called comma place and I'm going to fill this with in string that's the in string function uh, the column that I want to work with which is the name column and then the the uh, character that I want to find I want to find the comma and that's it so in string the column that I want to work with and the character I want to find I want to find the comma so I'll hit run and it basically is telling me the position number that the comma is in. So in this first uh, record, comma is in position 31, uh, or the 31st character in this particular string. And then in this particular record, comma is the 27th character. In this particular record, comma is the 23rd character. So how is that helping me? Well, if I knew exactly where each comma was, I could actually type in last name, left the name that I'm working with which is name or the name of the column that I'm working with which is name and then give a number that I want to put in let's say I put 31 okay I'll click run here and you'll notice that what this particular uh, left function did was grab the left 31 characters of every name and where the comma is indeed in position 31, I grab nothing more than the last name all the way until the comma. Where the comma is less than or greater than 31, I grab some kind of superfluous letters uh, besides the last name and just the comma. So basically, I grab the left 31 um, characters. The idea is to replace the hard-coded number 31 with the in-string function, which will automatically feed it the right amount of numbers. So for this particular example, using the in-string will automatically feed the left function the right number, which is 24. So what I'm saying is, instead of putting 31 here, left 31, I would put left in-string name find the comma okay and basically what I did is I replaced the hard-coded number with this function right here so now when I run this you'll notice that every single name now has just the last name and all the way up to the comma you'll notice that when we go and run this query it actually includes the comma it includes the comma because the comma is included in the 31 characters. What we'll do here now is we'll say, let's add a minus 1 to this last name uh, function. And what that'll do is it'll get rid of the comma. Okay? So now all I need to do is contend with these extra spaces here that this legacy system has put in here. So what I can do there is encapsulate this whole thing around a trim function. The trim function will get rid of any peripheral spaces or extra spaces. And again, I took this whole function here and I put it inside of a trim function. And if I run this now, I have a nice clean last name. No spaces, no commas. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first thing, uh, or the same thing for the first name. What I'll do here is initially I'll show you what I would normally do without the instring function. I would basically say first name mid, and I'll say uh, 31 to 100,000, whatever. 
And what this basically is saying is that start with the 31st character and go out to 100,000. Now, you will know, we all know that none of these first names actually has 100,000 characters, but that's okay. Uh, what it'll do is basically get the uh, right most characters. It'll go as far as it can. So now, again, with a lot of these, uh, 31 isn't the right number, but in the first record, 31 is the right number. So what we'll do here is we'll replace 31 with in string, just like we did on the last name, find the comma. Okay, so we replace 31 with this in string function. And so now we'll notice that uh, when we run this, all the names actually start with a comma and go right. Now get, let's get rid of the, all these extra commas here uh, by adding one to this particular in string function here. And that again gets rid of the commas. Now we have this clean first name without the commas. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is get rid of these extra or excess uh, spaces here. And we can do that very easily by placing this whole function inside of a trim function. And again, just type in the trim function and put this function in, in the middle of it. A little difficult to look at, but once you run it, you'll see that it works. And we have a last name, a first name parsed out from this mess that we started out with. And if you really want to get fancy, you can start a new column here called new name and then put in the first function here that we have here trim left and then expand this out put an ampersand comma space another ampersand and then put in this function right here trim mid makes for a very long function but that's basically going to take this messed up name and put it all together into a new name and if I press play there's a new name